So there are many different examples of concentration cells. Today we're going to look at a very important biological example of a concentration cell called a neuron cell. Now neuron cells are simply specialized concentration cells found within our nervous system of our body that communicate with one another via changes in ion concentration. Now these changes in ion concentration create a difference in voltage or something called a cell voltage. And this difference in voltage creates electrical signals. Now these electrical signals travel from one cell to another and this is how cells communicate. Now let's look at something called a resting electrical potential of a cell. Now our cells within our body, specifically neuron cells, establish electrical potentials or cell voltages at rest. And what this guy simply means is the cell voltage produced by our cell when no signals are being transducted or conducted from one cell to another. Now let's look at a portion of our cell membrane found at the exon hillock. The exon hillock is simply the portion of the neuron where our signal is generated. But remember, we're talking about the resting potential. That means no signals are being generated just yet. So, let's examine the different types of ions that are present within our body, within our cell. <coughs> so we see that we have calcium, we have potassium, we have sodium, and we have chloride. Now, when we're at our resting potential, we have a lower concentration of calcium, sodium, chloride inside the cell, this is the inside, than the outside. On the contrary, we have a higher concentration of potassium ions on the inside than the outside. Now notice we have a semi-permeable membrane, so we have hydrophilic uh, heads and hydrophobic tails. This, these guys are transport membranes or transport proteins and these proteins allow ions to flow in or out of the cell via active transport or passive transport. Now, so today we're only going to look at this guy here, potassium ion. But notice that our resting electrical potential of the cell or our cell voltage is generated by simply adding up the cell voltages of all these four ions. When we add all these guys up, we get our final cell voltage or the resting electrical potential. Now today to save time, I'm only going to show you for this potassium ion. You can do these on your own. So, let's take this potassium ion and let's create an, a concentration cell or a specialized concentration cell called a neuron cell. So this is our electrochemical concentration cell for potassium. This is our negatively charged anode and our positively charged cathode. Now this is where oxidation of potassium takes place and this is where reduction of potassium takes place. You could think of this conductor, the electrodes and the salt bridge as representing the cell membrane. And the solution on this, in this anode, is the outside solution. And the cathode is the inside solution. And that's because initially in a concentration cell, this guy is more dilute. That means it's the outside because remember, we have less potassium on the outside than on the inside. So this guy must be the inside. So now let's see what happens. Well, electrons leave this potassium ion or leave the potassium solid ion, this electrode, and travel via the conductor, via the cell membrane, onto this electrode. At the same time, they release these potassium ions into our solution. So the concentration of this guy on the outside becomes greater. Likewise, these guys on the, on the inside here are taken up because they react with the electrons to form our K solid. And this changes the concentration of our inside and outside. So, this is our oxidation reaction where our potassium is oxidized and our reduction reaction where the potassium accepts the electrons forming the solid. Now, if we, f if we want to find the net redox reaction, we simply add these two guys up. The E's cancel, uh, the K solids cancel, and we are left 
with K plus inside and K plus outside. <coughs> Notice the reactant is the inside. This is where we uh, begin. And this guy is the outside. This is where we end. Because electrons travel this way, but the ions want to travel this way because we have more ions on the outside, on the inside, than the outside. So, once again, in the electrochemical cell setup, electro electrons travel this way, but C plus atoms travel this way because this concentration increases while this guy decreases. So, now if we look up the um, cell voltage of this oxidation re uh, reaction and this reduction reaction, we find that they're the same magnitude but different signs. So if we add them up, that means they will be zero. And that's exactly what we have in any concentration cell. And we'll see what that means in a second.